Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to share with you how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile and get noticed by recruiters. Let's get started. First of all, I would like to say welcome. If it's your first time coming to my channel, welcome to my channel. You will be finding career tips, tricks, LinkedIn optimizations for personal profile and company profile and even more. But today's topic, I would like to share with you as an ex-LinkedIner, how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile and have recruiters find your profile for your dream job. One of the couple points that I wanna share with you is optimizing your LinkedIn profile based on what recruiters are searching for. It comes with actually like posting more content and more articles. What I mean by that, you can post some articles to your profile and try to get noticed. But my recommendation is like posting articles to your profile and using LinkedIn as a content marketing library for your personal branding. This can be like maybe specific to your industry, maybe you're talking about a specific topic. For instance, I'll give you an example. Let's say you are a marketing professional and you are very passionate about social media and you really want to find a job in social media category and social media industry. What you can do is like posting articles about social media. Let's say one of the platforms published a new feature and and you have been using this feature quite a long time. Maybe you can just write an article about pros and the cons about this feature. This way you'll be like, when you publish something about this topic, you'll be gathering people related to this topic. They can share, like, comment, and even refer your profile to different recruiters. It's a really great way to attract recruiters' attention because when they are looking for people like you, they can see your article, they can take a look at your profile, and through this one, you can create community and you can start creating your thought leadership as well. In addition to that, when you're using LinkedIn, recruiters are using LinkedIn in a different format. Recruiters are also paying to LinkedIn to find some talent for their companies. One of the main important things you can actually do is to turn on your open candidate feature. This feature is under your private settings. When you turn on this feature, you'll be letting recruiters know that you're looking for a job. So if you don't wanna update your network, and if you don't wanna say that you're looking for a job, but you still wanna to signal to recruiters that you're looking for a job, you can activate this feature. Again, this is called Open Candidate, and I'll show you how you can do it on another video, and I'm gonna put that on the description below because in step-by-step, -step, I'll be showing you how you can turn on this feature as well. But rather than making this video too long, I'm gonna continue to the next section, and if you wanna see how you can turn on the Open Candidate section, you can watch that video and come back to this video. The other tip that I wanna share with you is being active on LinkedIn. The most important thing you can actually do is like maybe building a video resume for your own profile. As you know, most of the platforms, they really like the video because the video format actually keeps the viewer in the platform for a long time. Let's say you're a makeup artist and you wanna use your LinkedIn profile. The thing that you can actually do is like creating a video resume. This can be like very brief and short, but my recommendation is like when you create your video resume, maybe you're just like putting the pictures of the people that you have been doing some makeup on them, or maybe you have photos that you had for the sets that you have been uh, involved in. When you're creating this video, when you're talking, make sure that you're including captions on the video because most of the people are watching these videos in silent format. And when they're scrolling through, when they see you, these images Images and these videos, you want them to pause and take a look at the video. And if you include the captions, they will be able to still understand the content of the video. So my recommendation is like, if you wanna be a little unique and different and standing out more on your LinkedIn profile, you can create a short video resume. The length doesn't matter. It can be 15 seconds to 30 seconds or a minute. As long as it's like capturing and you have the captions on the video, you're good to go. These are my tips that I wanna share with you. If you wanna know more about optimizing your LinkedIn profile as a business professional or a college student and even more, I have more videos on my channel and don't forget to subscribe and take a look at them. I hope this was very helpful for you. If you have more questions, don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.